we have someone who is part of an organization that truly um, is doing work that's invaluable. So we have Miss Kiana with TSU and Shape. Thank you for coming, Kiana. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes, yes. So um, first, I want to thank you for the work that you're doing, because we know that health, especially through COVID. Yes. If you didn't know, now you know, health is the most important thing. Right. Health is definitely wealth. Um, so I want you to tell us a little bit about the TSU SHAPE initiative. What is the initiative for the um, organization? Yeah, so thank you for having me first and foremost. Um, TSU SHAPE initiative is a program, a community-based and um, university-based program um, where we aim to increase awareness and um, effectiveness and availability for testing for HIV, hepatitis C, syphilis, chlamydia and gonorrhea, as well as services for mental health and substance use counseling as well. Okay, let me ask you this. What communities do you serve? Um, your focus is definitely the African-American community, the right. urban community. Mm -hmm. What all communities do you serve? Are you solely in the third ward area? Or are there other areas throughout the Houston metropolitan you know, community that you guys are trying to reach? Yeah, so since we are a university and a community-based organization, mm -hmm. we do target African-American and Hispanic populations Okay, awesome. Also. Okay. Um, so we are in the third ward and fifth ward area and the greater Houston area. Okay, awesome. Um, and we are housed particularly at Texas Southern University. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me ask you, how do you go about with um, reaching the community? Do they solely come to your site? Are you out and about in the community? Are you a part of different, um, say, events that are going on? And I, I'm sure it's been different because of COVID. Yeah, right. Um, I know that probably caused some constraint, but how can they reach you? Or, you know, are you out in the community? How do you go about reaching? Yeah, so basically, um, we are, like I said, we are housed at Texas Southern University, but that's not where we stay. We do a lot of okay. community outreach. Um, we are in the third ward area, so we are at the Shape Community Center um, Friday. And can you give us that address? Okay, <laughs> so we'll, let's see, we'll get you guys the address. Okay, right. so what's the number they can call? Um, if you have more information, 713-313-1975. Okay. That's our office phone number, we're there every day, Monday through Friday, eight to five. Um, but we're at the Shape Community Center in Third Ward area off of Almeda. Okay, um, Almeda. And Live Oak. So okay. that's that area. So that's easy. Those are yeah. main streets, guys. Mm -hmm. Live yeah. Oak and Almeda. So Fridays and Saturdays, um, second and fourth Saturdays were there. And then in the Fifth Ward area, we go to the Nickel Sandwich Shop um, in the Fifth okay. Ward area off of, I think it's off of Lions, off the top of my head. Okay. Um, and we're there every Wednesday. We do pop-up tents as well. Um, and with the pop-up tents, what all are you providing? Is it those various testings or yeah. is it? So we do the testing, we do HIV, hepatitis C and syphilis. Syphilis on site, we get your results the same day. So it takes wow. 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah. For both tests, you can get the results yeah. the same all day? three tests. So it's three different tests. Um, HIV, hepatitis and syphilis. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all it is is a finger prick with, for a blood test. Okay, so what age group, or is there even a specific age group that you guys are targeting? Is it, um, I guess, the college age group, since you are partnered and based um, kind of so with uh, TSU, or is it individuals of all ages within those communities? So it's individuals within the community, third ward, fifth ward, greater Houston area. We're just here to be a resource to the community and to the students on campus. Uh, we are able to test 16 years old 16 years old and older. Oh, wow. Yeah, so age is not a factor unless you're- you For all of those various age. tests. Mm -hmm. Yes, for all of the tests. Now, what are you seeing? Has it, has the participation of those coming out to be tested, has it kind of declined during COVID or has it increased? Um, at first, when COVID first hit, you know, we had a decline. People are not going to yeah. the doctors or, yeah. you know, trying to interact with people. So we that did see a decline. Um, but now, you know, with different kinds of precautions like mask and social distancing and stuff like that we've been able to continue the work that we have okay. that we do okay so i wanted to ask you what do you feel as though a messaging that say i can as well i'm in my 40s for a, a younger cousin or um a younger sibling mm -hmm. that may not be as conscious or not really being as aware of their health and, and doing that testing, what type of uh, tools do you guys use to kind of get them excited about really even being aware 
yeah. of those testings. Yeah, so we try to do more of like the educational piece, you know, being aware of, you know, what kind of STDs are out there um, and what you can do to protect yourself. Rather than pushing on testing, like, hey, come get tested, hey, get tested, like, why am I getting tested? I don't know what it's for. So we use a lot of our platforms, so social media, we do, we hold um, Zoom, like, webinars, like, education sessions about things like that. Um, awesome. Sexual health in general. So it's not just awesome. about, like, HIV, sticking that on the black community, stigma-wise, you know? Exactly. It's about educating past that, like... It's not just a wear condom. It's which is which I love because you're not just preaching. Yes. You're giving them education. Mm -hmm. You're being informative. When we come back, I do want to uh, kind of touch on this is unique, guys, and this is what they use. Now, this gives information, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we, uh, when we come back, this will be a good segue to speak about this. And then I know you guys are partnered with Teen Summit now. So we'll kind of, um, I guess, indulge a little bit on that when we come back. We'll be right back. The Session Talk Show. We provide full service credit card processing services to small business merchants. We understand as a business owner, you have tough decisions to make each day. Finding a trustworthy credit card processor shouldn't be one of them. We offer an easy process with no application fees and 24 seven support. Our advanced merchant services will save you time and money. Ultimately, we're in the relationship building business and your success is our success. So work with our team of consultants to help take your business to the next level. Contact Donald Baker at 713-226-7444 for a free consultation. Did you ever think it was possible to do something that you truly love and then make a career out of it? More often than not, we're led to believe that chasing a dream is something that is almost impossible that this passion for music is something that we shouldn't waste our time in, that the music industry is too saturated and it's too competitive. I almost believe this. You see, for as long as I can remember, my whole life has been surrounded by music. Music and sound are a part of me. It makes me feel some kind of special way. I had to do something about that, which I truly love. So I took a chance in myself and set up my mind to win. I invested in myself and took the time to dive deep and research on the possibilities. I knew that the road ahead was not going to be easy, and if I took the road that everybody else has taken, then I would get the same results they had gotten. I had to challenge myself and question everything. I needed the right guidance, the right mentors, the right program. I needed something that would change my limits and beliefs and push me past my limits. I needed a challenge. I found that challenge in this program. I asked the right questions. I got the right answers. I immersed myself in this environment with like-minded people and highly experienced mentors. The approach was hands-on and the classes exclusive and small. With this approach, I fine-tune my inner talent and discover my true potential. Everything can change with one decision. This one decision can be the determining factor for what can happen for the rest of your life. If you know who you are and you know what you want to do and you can see clearly your vision, all that is left is how are you going to make your passion your career. Book a tour today and start looking at your possibilities. Boy, why you still in here? Who the hell you waiting for? Oh, the public defender said I need to take the plea deal. What? Boy, do you remember that TV show, Martin? Yeah, I remember Martin. What Tommy said to Cole? Oh, yeah, he said, you stupid. Exactly! You stupid if you gonna trust a public defender with your freedom, fool! Here, I'll smuggle this in. Hurry up, go to iCarterCase.com. Caught a case? Call Chad, y'all. He will beat the sh** out the system. Boy, when the system tries to bully you, you got to get a bigger, better bully to defend you. Clients are feeling great at True Rest Float Spa. Experience pain relief, relaxation, and better sleep at True Rest Float Spa. Located at 5190 Buffalo Speedway. Call and set your appointment today, 832-520-8810. Floating is the gateway to feeling great. True Rest Float Spa. 
Looking for a great breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Well, come to 713 Bistro. You'll absolutely love their breakfast menu, featuring the chicken and waffles, wings, and burger baskets for lunch. And you'll love their gumbo, pasta, oxtails, and yams. Come eat till your heart's content at 713 Bistro, 7506 Martin Luther King Boulevard, inside Fuel Depot Gas Station. 713 Bistro, you gotta try it. Gotta try it. Gotta try it. Gotta try it.